In the last lecture, we calculated the edge parameters. Now we will draw the equivalent circuit using the two edge parameter equations which we have obtained in the last lecture. In the first equation, H11 is the input impedance and H12 is the reverse voltage gain. In the second equation, H21 is the forward current gain and H22 is the output admittance. So we can rewrite the two equations. Equation 1 will become V1 equal to HI I1 plus HR V2 and let's say this equation is equation number 3. Equation 2 will become I2 equal to HF the forward current gain I1 plus HO V2 and let's say this equation is equation number 4 and we will draw the equivalent circuit for equation number 3 and equation number 4 separately and you can see in equation number 3 each and every term is having the units of voltage V1 is the input voltage so the unit is volt HI is the input impedance and when you multiply impedance with the current we are having the voltage drop so the unit is again volt HR is the dimensionless quantity and when you multiply dimensionless quantity with the voltage that is V2 the output voltage the unit is again volt so to obtain the equivalent circuit of equation number 3 we will use KVL we will use Kirchhoff's voltage law to obtain the equivalent circuit and from equation number 3 we have plus of V1 minus HI I1 minus HR V2 equal to 0 and the direction of current I1 is clockwise so we will apply KVL in clockwise direction we have plus of V1 this means the polarity of voltage V1 is like this plus minus V1 then we have minus of HI I1 so there is resistance HI and the current flowing through the resistance is equal to I1 after this we have minus of HR V2 so there is voltage source there is voltage source with polarity plus minus and the magnitude is equal to HR V2 and the symbol of voltage source is like this so this is the equivalent circuit obtained from equation number 3 in equation number 4 each term is having the units of current you can see I2 is having the units of current HF is the forward current gain so this is dimensionless quantity and when you multiply it with current I1 the unit is going to be ampere then we have HOV2 HO is the output admittance and unit of admittance is ohm inverse and when you multiply ohm inverse with voltage the unit is going to be ampere so all the three terms in equation number four is having the units of current so to obtain the equivalent circuit using the equation number four we need to apply Kirchhoff's current law I2 is the entering current and these two currents are the leaving current so we have current I2 as the entering current then we have HF I1 HF HF is the forward current gain and I1 is the input current so we have current source with direction like this and the magnitude is HF I1 then we have another branch in which admittance is equal to HO the admittance is represented similar to the resistance and it is equal to HO and the voltage is equal to V2 this is the polarity and the voltage is equal to V2 so this is the circuit obtained from equation number 4 and by combining these two circuits we have the final equivalent circuit this is how the final equivalent circuit will look after combining 
the circuit obtained from equation number 3 and circuit obtained from equation number 4 and you have to replace the transistor you have to replace the transistor with this equivalent model whenever you have the transistor in this circuit and you have to perform the AC analysis then this transistor symbol is replaced by this equivalent model and this model is the general model we have not included the information about the transistor configuration and if we talk about the transistor configuration then we have to add another subscript which will tell us the transistor configuration for example if we have common emitter configuration of transistor then HI the input impedance parameter is written as HI E where E represents the common emitter configuration in the same way HF is written as HFE HO is written as HOE and HR is written as HRE the input current is I1 and in common emitter configuration the input current I1 is the base current the input voltage is V1 the input voltage is V1 and in common emitter configuration the input voltage is VBE the output current is I2 and IC is the output current in common emitter configuration the output voltage is V2 and in this configuration the output voltage is VCE so these are the changes you need to do in this equivalent circuit for particular transistor configuration in the common base configuration you need to replace this E with B and you also have to change the current and voltages I hope you now understand how to obtain the equivalent circuit using the hybrid parameters if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one